How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today I'm uh, going to show you a tool that I like a lot. I'm sitting here in the This Old House project uh, and we're working on a pipe. A uh, stove pipe. This is a heat duct pipe I've been working on right now. We just got through putting the heater in this garage and I was trying to get some way of taking some of this heat and getting it into the house. Now this is an old house and it was already set up once like this. So we took the old stove out of the old garage and we put it in the new garage here and we're going to try to get this heat pumped in there. So I wanted to show you this tool. I think this is a pretty interesting tool and I don't know if everybody knows that the tool is out there. So I'm going to show you what the tool is and what it's used for. Alright, so the tool, this is the tool that we're using and you see it has like fingers on it. There's three fingers on this side and two on this side over here. And I don't know about you, but I try to use up every bit of scrap pipe that I can because I don't want to waste the money. So I have a piece of pipe right here. Let me show you what I'm working on. This piece of pipe right here. And both ends are female because somebody needed a piece of this and they cut it off. So what I want to do is put these grooves that are on this one right here I want to put them grooves right there in this pipe over here. I want to put them in that pipe. So this is, like I said, this is just for our heat. So what you do with this tool is you just, you slide it in and you crimp. You just squeeze your handle down and that gives you a groove. Now what I'm going to do here I'm going to move it one, just one at a time, and I'm going to keep doing this all the way around. You can see how it's crimping the metal, and I slide it in my last groove, and I'll just keep going right around this thing. Now, if you're working on a stove or something like that, these tools really come in handy for this type of work. Uh, Especially if you're using pipe that maybe somebody's already cut off of it or before or whatever. And this, like I said, this is used pipe. Somebody was using it before and I got some scraps. And we're trying to get this thing together. I'm not sure if you can see how well that's doing that. But let me try to zoom in a little bit here, maybe. And I'll go this way with it this time. I just put it in the same groove and squeeze. There's my groove. Now it might take me a little while, but just take my time and try to keep the tool as straight in on that cut as you can. This cut here, somebody cut it and it's a little bit crooked. So I'm just basically going straight what I think looks straight. I'm gonna keep crimping it. This is, like I said, this is really a neat tool. Uh, what I'll do is I'll look on Amazon see if they have these on Amazon and if they do I'll leave you a link for it it's got different measurements on here too up to one inch you could do half inch quarter inch half inch three quarter or one inch I'm just doing the whole one inch so I'm gonna work my way around this all the way around and then uh, I'll get you guys back in here time you could really do a pretty nice job with this tool and I think it's impossible to get the female over this male if you don't do this if you don't do it it's probably not going to fit over top of it Alright, so we since we got that crimped, now this piece fits right down on there, perfect. It wouldn't have fit before at all, but now it does. 
thanks to that little tool. It's a really handy little tool. I don't think they cost very much. And if you're working with stove pipe, you're burning wood, this is actually, I don't think it's a bad price to pay. As many pieces of pipe I've saved by using this, probably already paid for them a couple times. If you guys wonder what I'm doing here, <laughs> like I said, this stove wasn't made to have a pipe sticking off of it. I made this little contraption here. There's, there's a few uh, holes down in here that a blower goes through there, but there's no blower box. So I made the little box to actually help me get the air up into this pipe in the ceiling. So we're going to try it. The pipe is, this stove is warm already. So it's actually going to, I mean, even just the airflow going up is going to do, it's going to do pretty good. So I'm just screwing all these pipes together making sure they don't fall over. I think I can turn this thing. Yeah, it's a little dark in here. Oh, look at that. That one broke loose. Uh -huh. Now this is an insulated ductwork here that I'm working on. Kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but I can't really see myself. To be honest with you. Be nice to have about four or five hands, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> that would be really nice. Do you need me to help you? Like, no, I think you got it. Do you want any duct tape or anything? Well, I think what I'm gonna do is. I think a couple of zip ties that hold this. Oh, okay. They're doubled up and they're in there. I, I see them somewhere. Um, that where All right, this is that pipe that was coming into the house. You can feel the real hot air coming through it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up through the floor and go ahead and put a register in. We're going to cut the floor out and put a register right here. We're going to put a T on this. We're going to T it up into there and out into this room here. So it'll come into the basement and that's right in the middle of the dining room and the, and the living room. So will give us at least one register in the house pumping heat from that garage out. This is super hot right now and there's barely even a fire in there. So this is going to help this house out a lot. Okay, right there where Julie's taping is where that um, register is going to come up through the floor. It's like in the perfect place. So this is going to work out really well. Alright, I know a lot of you guys are saying we're crazy for cutting up the floor and putting this in, but this is going to save us a lot of money, and right now, it's our house, so we'll do whatever we want with it. And then when the next people get it, they can do what they want. We're inside the house now where we're hooking up the ductwork and we need the tool again. So I'm going to go ahead and do this piece. We need a short piece with two male ends. So we're going to work on these. And I just wanted to show you how this thing crimps. It does a really nice job crimping. And if you don't have that crimped, then guess what? We couldn't use this piece of pipe. 
So, see how that crimp is? We know we're going to get that right up in that pipe when we get this all done. It takes a little bit of time to work around it, but I'd rather spend a little time than money. So that's two times I used this tool and uh, saved my butt. That's a cool tool. I'm telling you guys will like this tool. If you have to work with any kind of duct work or chimney pipe or something like that, tool works great. Okay, we got the register hooked up upstairs, which goes through the floor. And then this one here comes into the basement, which we can open up and let air come into the basement, hot air come into the basement, or close it and let it all go upstairs. So hopefully that thing being attached right to the top of the wood burner should work pretty good. That thing's already hot because there's a little bit of fire in there. I wanted to give you guys a little closer look at these, this hand tool because it's such a handy tool to have for those stove pipes. Uh, whether it be duct work or it be your outside stove pipe you're putting in, this is called a five blade. As you can see, it has five blades on it. You have these five blades. Five blade crimping tool. Hand crimper. It's called a five blade hand crimper for stove pipe. Uh, this one here, like I said, this is such a handy tool and I've used it so much that uh, I had to do a little video on it because it's it's such a good tool to have for when you're doing those pipes. Uh, so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for this tool and uh, if you guys are inter interested in it, uh, uh, check it out and see what you think and I don't think you'll go wrong by having one of these now this is not a tool that I use every single day but almost every winter I have used these tools this tool anyhow this tool right here so that is the five blade hand crimper for stovepipe well, that's a must-have tool if you're going to be working on any type of duct work or stovepipe. It's definitely a handy tool to have. It's not really that expensive. If you figure out how many pieces of pipe you throw away because you didn't have the mail end on it, uh, I think you could save the money you spend on the tool by saving that pipe and reusing it. So, I would like to tell everybody, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like and don't forget if you guys haven't seen my rusty rooster homestead channel check it out I'll leave a link at the top of the page till next time